Hey everybody, I'm Corey Levine coming to you from the Harold Feinstein Studio in another of our Harold Feinstein Studio series. Hi everybody, I'm Shannon Pelletier and I'm an intern at the Harold Feinstein Photography Trust. And uh, today we're continuing our social walkthrough of Graciously Yours, the solo Feinstein exhibition currently hanging at Gallery Terry Bigignon in Paris. Today we're looking at uh, Boy in Subway Car, which is another print that's hanging at the show, uh, part of a limited edition of, of 16 by 20 prints. And here it is. So, Shannon, when you look at this image, what do you think? What do you see about it? When I look at this image, I'm drawn to Harold's use of framing mm -hmm. and his use of light and the way he balances the elements in the photograph. He yeah. just applies composition so well to his photographs and it's great skill as a photographer to be able to do that. I agree. I think you know all of those elements are um, you know so tightly crafted. The idea of there being a frame within the frame, right? We certainly we see that not just is there a frame within the frame, but there are sort of multiple cascading frames uh, that you can see as you move through the train. And, you know, that really helps create that feeling of depth uh, mm -hmm. that you, you know, you we're, we're sort of seeing this movement back into space. Um, and, yeah, when you, when you talk about the idea of balance, what elements... In this photograph, do you do you see that kind of bring it into balance for you? Um, I think the two boys that are in the photograph are they help add weight to either side of the photograph, mm -hmm. um, as well as adding movement to it to help with going through the depth that we're looking at. Also, when you say the two boys, you're referring to the subject, and then this fellow down here with the boombox, yes. or the the guy with the gray bell bottoms in the background. No, I was referring yeah. to this one. Yeah, and I love that boombox. It's so, uh, you know, this this image was shot in 1977, uh, and it definitely feels that way. It's very sort of quintessentially 1977. There's a lot of indicators of, of the period, of course. <laughs> um, and yeah, and I agree that, you know, even tonally, when you look at the different figures in this photograph, they help to frame the subject, the boy between subway cars, as it's called. And so this young man down at the bottom is sort of a darker element. The the dude in the bell bottoms is a darker <laughs> element. You have the, the certainly the, the shadows uh, or the sort of mid uh, or, or really more darker grays of the uh, the door and the, the frame of the door in the second car, all of which helps sort of consolidate and draw the eye to the center of the image. Mm. And it's great. It's something that Harold does a lot. Yeah, I, I agree. And I think it's, you know, it's one of those things we look back at or we, we look at photographs from different periods and, you know, there's a, a sense of nostalgia or or for folks like you and me who weren't alive in the 70s, it's almost mm -hmm. a sense of novelty. Uh, but I think that's kind of, you know, almost a, a superficial attraction. I, I think what it speaks to, though, really is Harold's eye and, and his personality, his way of living. I mean, this is um, the reason this is so, you know, we use the word multiple, time, multiple times, the reason this is so quintessential uh, is because, uh, you know, Harold looked at his ordinary life, looked at the, you know, the, the things around him, and he saw, he was able to see and identify the beauty of, uh, you know, this, this scene, which is, you know, fa a fairly ordinary New York scene, but it mm -hmm. feels, you know, in hindsight, it feels so specific. Um, and I think that speaks to Harold's larger oeuvre of, you know, taking ordinary things and, and drawing out, um, identifying and bringing out the beauty uh, in the everyday and the ordinary of, you know, the ride, uh, the ride to Coney Island. Um, and, you know, this, the subway and particularly the subway ride to and from uh, Coney Island, these are uh, elements, these are visual motifs that appear in a lot of street photography and particularly Harold's and we'll we'll show you all a few different photographs that Harold shot of the subway and and he felt uh, the journey uh, traveling to and from was as much a part of being at you know Coney Island as the sand between your toes so to speak. Uh, so we'll show you a few of those and uh, there's even an alternate uh, well, not so much an alternate, but a different photograph where this boy is featured from the same roll of film. We'll include that as well for you to enjoy. 
Uh, and we hope that uh, if you're not in Paris, that you are able to enjoy this little bit of uh, commentary. And if you are in Paris, please get to Cap Gallery Thierry Bigignon, where you can see this photograph uh, or this print in person. Uh, really, you know, looking at it uh, on your screen doesn't quite do it justice, but uh, this is one of my all-time favorite Feinstein prints. Um, in the meanwhile, we hope you enjoy this video, and we'll be back next week uh, with another uh, image from Graciously Yours. And until then, we hope you're well. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.